I have Noel Polk, my two-time great-grandfather, Noel Polk. From the documents I've read and everything I've seen, he appeared to be a fairly smart man. He was, he was there to get what was his, what was what was rightfully his, as far as being Choctaw and the lands being allotted. So in the early 1900s, uh, the government, with the first five civilized tribes and all a few other tribes, given that I'm Choctaw, I'm a part of the first five civilized tribes, that's, that's the Chickasaw, the Cherokee, the Creek, the Seminole, and the Choctaw, on the first five civilized tribes. So we, we that's a whole class of their own, first five civilized tribes, class of their own. So... Those those tribes were allotted land, so they basically the gov U.S. government basically were given land. Like here's here's 80 acres. Well, some tribe the you get up, some people get up to 360 acres. One person was up to 360 acres, getting allotted to them. Here, this is yours. You have it. You got you got a land patent and everything. It's a restricted status. It's, it's yours to keep. Your family get to pass it on. So my two time great grandfather he had that. Um, and they gave it out through, it wasn't no addresses that they were giving it out. It was called, a, um, they, they used the Indian Meridian, the Indian Meridian. And it's the basic, the basis of just mapping things out with, with, with townships, ranges, and sections. Some people may be familiar with that, some may not be. But you were allotted, it would be Section 8, 7 North, Range 18 East. That's the plot. And you may have, and you may have, and you have before that, you may have the east half of the southeast quarter. So it's basically a big square, a big square. Imagine a big square. And you cut that big square, just cut it in half first. Boom, you cut it in half. You got the east half, you got the west half. Boom, you cut it in half again. Now you got a north half and a south half. And then you also got the, the quarters, the corners. So you have a, you have a, a northeast corner, I mean a northwest corner, a northeast corner, a, a southeast corner, and a northwest corner, quarter rather, quarter. So that's how the land was allotted, and that's how it was read. Noel on his lands, it was minerals there, it was oil and gas there, and he set out with leases. He had leases to people for people to come and set up these wells and start drilling, and he would make money off of that. He would make money through royalties. Um, Noel Pope died in 1954. He died in 1954. They were still drilling way after he passed away. They were still drilling way after he passed away. They were still drilling on his lands. So like in 2003, my family got this document in regards to my grandmother being an heir to Noel Pope. Um, that it was this authorization of payment from an oil company. Well, actually, it was authorization of payment from the Bureau of Indian Affairs, from the federal government, to a oil company that was drilling on our lands. Basically, they told them, you need to pay out, uh, what is it? it was close to $700,000 in royalties that had needed to be paid out, you know, to the family um, of Noel Pope because they were drilling oil and making money. It was like, they made like $3 million. But this this was like about it's just about a three million dollar mind you this is off this goes off royalties so it's not like you're gonna get the whole three million dollars you agree on how much royalties you the split gonna be and everything like that so that's all written up but they were making money i know they've cheated us i know they have um i've just recently got an attorney to work on even the chain of title as far as that land that Noel Pope had, the east half, the west half, or the southwest quarter, or the northwest quarter, 80 acres, that's still his. Legally, that's still his. I got all the documents for it. That's still his. 